even though we're very different and there's obviously tension between the two women, they're, they also have things in common. And, and a lot of women, in fact, have things in common in this show. The fact that they are living in this patriarchy, you know, that they, and we still do. So the, not a lot has changed, unfortunately. Hi, Carice. How are you? Good. How are you? I am doing great. I'm loving dan- Dangerous Liaison so far. Um, I have loved this story for, I guess, ever since the first time I saw Cruel Intentions. Uh, and I was wondering if there was anything that drew you in particular to the original novel or to this version of the story. I've never read the novel, mm-hmm. to be very honest with you. But I, of course, I did see the movie back in the, whatever it was, 90s. Mm-hmm. Uh, not Cruel Intentions, the one before with um, uh, Glenn Close and, um, what's his name? John Malkovich. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that was very sort of, that was still quite fresh in my head. Um, but I, I did, I was curious when they, uh, when I heard that they were doing this again, I was like, why, why? And, <laughs> and you know, I mean, not, you know, it just was a good question to ask, to ask, ask yourself. Uh, and then, it was so clear to me that the way they were going to do this was, you know, seen from a female perspective and with a great sense of humor. There's a, there's a lot of wit in this show. It's very subtle. Um, it's a real, um, I don't know. It's, it was, it's also the director, actually the female director that, that was so full of passion about this and also was talking about the main cast. And I was like, this is, this show is on fire. I need to be part of this because this is a um, um, this is something new. Even though we're telling an old sort of story, this is this is new. Jacqueline and and her backstory is also kind of a new component to the story, especially that kind of cold war with Camille, if you will. Can you talk about bringing that to life with Alice and how your way into her and that story? Well, of course, you know, yes, the the the, the character actually doesn't exist in the book. So it was also a great opportunity for me to build that character uh, together with the um, director. Um, and I I actually quite like the fact that even though we're very different and there's obviously tension between the two women, they also have things in common. And, and a lot of women, in fact, have things in common in this show. The fact that they are living in this patriarchy, you know, that they and we still do. So... The, <laughs> Not a lot has changed, unfortunately. Um, and so they, in a way, they have things in common, but of course, because of their past that I can't really spoil. Um, yeah, there's a lot of tension, but there's also love underneath. And that's what makes, it makes it quite complicated and, and complex. I also love uh, the layers that Jacqueline presents in that, you know, Camille is our way into the story and she's obviously uh, set against your character. And yet we see your character doing good deeds, doing good works, wanting to benefit the children in the Mm -hmm. community. Um, What is it like kind of playing both sides of that? Well, I think any character that I ever played, I feel like, you know, to a certain extent must have both. I mean, we are, we are both the wolf and little red riding hoods. We all have that in us, you know, it's, Mm -hmm. it's, um, so there is no good and bad. And yes, people can do terrible things, but be a very a great parent, or they can, um, you know, are uh, I, there's so many, of course, um, uh, examples of this. But mm-hmm. it's it it is it, this is for everyone. It feels like um, I and I quite like the fact that she's dressed in white. She has that sort of innocent look about her, and she does good things. But she's mm-hmm. deeply. Um, she, she's carrying around a, a big sadness, a big mm-hmm. secret, and that weighs very heavy on her. And the fact that she's in a completely loveless marriage doesn't help either. <laughs> um, so yes, I do. I do like to play with that, you know, where, where, where's the sympathy and, and, and to shift and to, to make people a bit confused about that. I love seeing the costumes, seeing the settings um, when I'm watching the series. And I'm just wondering how much fun is it for you to step into this kind of 1700s France? Is there a more challenging aspect of it or a most fun part of it? 
it is amazing the the locations that we've been to the costumes it's all so detailed as one and we've and i think what makes the show also very strong is that it's very authentic so mm -hmm. you know even the way the blush is on the faces is, is is the way they did it in the in the 1700s you know not like our modern take on blush it, it, there's a whole choreography of makeup as well so i think that the fact that there's so much detail in that authentic authenticity mm -hmm. uh, makes this also quite uh, stand out mm -hmm. you know um and but you know from a personal point of view to to wear costumes that much is not great it's not <laughs> it's not a nice feeling it definitely helps you know build a character or mm -hmm. literally build a character because you can't you know you you just you're a, a puppet mace basically right. but it also makes you think like you know this is for us it's a few days mm -hmm. back then you know the hygiene, the the, the fact that there, you know, the, the dresses were so heavy. There was no way that you could go to the bathroom. Uh, you can hardly breathe. Uh, the the hair, the, the the it's, you know, there's a lot of effort that went into right. the look, and yeah. and now you know we can wear whatever we want, and it really does feel like why did they have to go through that? <laughs> what? Yeah. That is it is a really interesting way to look at it. So true. You're restricted like they were in every aspect of their life with your clothing. Yeah, it's in a in a in a prison, in a, mm -hmm. in a fabric yeah. prison. Yeah. Now, um <laughs> as a side note, uh, I loved you as Melisandra in Game of Thrones. Incredible. Um, so I just wanted to say that. Thank you so much. <laughs> you. you know, uh an actor never gets enough, uh can never get enough. <laughs> Compliments, you know. Um, so I take that. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. <laughs>